and welcome to another Simeon Loan lesson. This is lesson number 10. So if you haven't seen all the other ones, go ahead and uh, find those on my channel. I'm sure you'll find them very interesting, mostly about the Simeon line. And this recording is about other lines when there are Simeon lines. So here is my example. So this is a lady's hand. She has simian lines double. I'll show you the other hand shortly. And she has been aware of her simian lines and has learned some things about it, but wanted to know about the other lines and anything else that stands out. So there is a few different things about the simian lines. Obviously, one is that there is only one line, which makes it difficult to time some events. So I've made a couple of markers here in the white marking timing because normally I would time from the headline and the heart line. So at those two points around about where the fate line crosses, the headline is around about age 35 and where the fate line crosses the heart line is around about age 50. But because the simian line is placed differently, we can't do the timing like that. So if this first white line is around about age 35 and the top one is around 50. You could say that the simian line is around about on the age 40 on the fate line. 42, it's a little bit hard. I don't do math. You probably do math if you're simian line, you can work that out. It's always approximate anyway on the timing. So what stands out for me that's unusual on this simian line is that the fate line starts all the way at the edge. All the way from the edge on the side and stops around about that age 42 where it meets the simian line and on the lifeline it shows a travel line which is here you might not see it so i'm drawing it there's a travel line which is around the age 42 43 so the lady has confirmed that she has moved around that age from one place to another. And that's where the fate line tends to also make a change. So she has a second fate line. And that's this line over here is a second fate line. So that shows that this change was more than likely a planned change, so it wasn't a sudden change. So it shows that the career and the life takes a different turn around the 42, 43 age mark. So again, confirmed by the travel line marked on the lifeline for the same age, confirmed by where the fate line meets the simian line around about the same age. Now I've marked here some stress lines around about 28 on the lifeline. It shows stress lines coming up to the simian line. And this is a normal stress line. And in her case, it may be the time that she had a child and she confirmed that prior to having that child she had some miscarriages. So there may have been some stress involved 
either in conception or just general uh, motherhood stress. Again, the 35 mark stress lines tend to rise all the way up. There are several lines which weave around her hand. Combined with big drooping line coming from the marriage line down here is um, a sign of her divorce which I believe happened around the age 35 mark and that is what those lines are and the other thing which stands out for me is a very unusual line over here from the lifeline hitching up to the fate line is a connecting line that generally tends to be somebody who's very career orientated and it is marked around about the age of 60 which there may be potentially another uh, avenue or project that she will be taking on later on. Uh, currently she's age 57 and over here at the top of the hand she has very strong success lines rising in a split way so it shows she might be doing several things. She confirmed that she is somewhat of an entrepreneur so that wouldn't surprise me to have success lines beyond the age of 50. Okay, I shall go on to her right hand now. Don't know if I've marked that photo, but let's see. I've got some marks there, that's okay. Let's talk about this hand a little bit more. Very strong thumb. You can see it's quite long because it reaches halfway on the phalange of the index finger. It is a thick thumb which shows determination and a hard worker, somebody who really does get things done. And if you go back to my thumb lessons, you will learn a lot more about the thumb. And here I'll just quickly explain to you also that her pad area at the tip of the thumb looks very firm. I know it's only a photo, I can't feel her hand, but I can tell it looks firm. And that tells me that she does like to use her hands or she generally is a hardworking person. And the fact that the top phalange is fairly even with the length of the first one. It shows her willpower and drive are balanced. She has a quite a, a long pinky because it reaches just beyond the, the top line of the ring finger. So she probably likes to communicate. She will probably explain things well in detail. She has a long index finger which shows her independence, her ambition, ambitious kind of personality and her self-esteem. She's probably cares about her own self in that way. Now let's talk about these lines that I've drawn down here. These first two black lines, I wish I'd numbered them now, these first two black lines show those, they are stress lines. Stress lines that reach to another fate line, like on her previous hand, she had the fate line from the side. It's also on this hand and it shows that there was at some point some stress regarding Korea. And it looks like all around that age 30 to 35 mark. There's also 
a stress line which reaches around about that 42, 43 mark on this hand, same as the other one, and confirming once again a travel line. So this travel line shows this one here. Oh, I'll change colour. So the travel line is this in the red, and it shows that her life shifts over. So this lifeline, which was running down this way, because of the travel, it shows that the lifeline shifted and now runs on a different path. Based on this right hand, it looks like there will be another shift later on. As it showed on the previous photo, a connecting line in her 60s, this is probably the same. And when I say 60s, I, I'm very approximate it's very difficult to do exact timing. So I'm saying maybe around 60 uh, is another shift and the lifeline is on a different path once again. Most simian lines have these lines, some people call them bleeding lines or branches. I kind of see them as a branch because because of the missing headline the simian line tends to have this these lines that hang down so it's a branch line that is kind of representing the mind so it is representing the headline which is a good sign it shows that she does use her head and she's not 100% simian line orientated so to speak she has a fate line which starts from the simian line and which shows the change in direction once again where the fate line was previously here in red and where that shift happens around about that early 40s where the fate line takes over in a different place because she has made changes. Now I've drawn this line over here, I'll draw it in green, is a, it looks like a partial heart line, it's just floating there, it doesn't seem to start at the edge anywhere, but it's a combination of a, a girdle of Venus and a floating heart line. So what that does mean is just that it shows that she has emotions, she is emotional, she does feel her emotions and she's probably sympathetic towards others. She has empathy. So that is like a empathy line. Also, she has got a few fragments here which show the partial girdle of Venus. So there you go. I hope you have learned something from this video and I'm happy to do reading example videos if you have something interesting or if you have questions. You're welcome to comment on my videos and email me if you want to have your own personal reading on a video. And um, yeah, go to my website destinypalmistry.com and you'll find out where to contact me there. Thanks very much. See ya.